I just wanted to quickly show you how we've um, going about creating a custom menu from uh, if, if I look here we've got we've created a few custom menus whoops I hope that doesn't take me off we've created a few custom menus ourselves for our system and because we're dealing with a number of different client types it's like we've segmented or filtered uh, more specifically to to what type of contact will we actually um, want to drill into so what we've got here is that we can create a um, of just whoops we've got a, a number of different menu items there but for this particular example I'm going to create a new tag and we're going to call it partner program I'll just get my spelling right okay so now I'm going to create that as a tag okay so that's in there now and I'll just for the discussion I'll put um, as a new contact now your screen could be slightly different here just because of um, where we're at when we're doing this video compared to everything else at the moment and because the system is so customizable so so now we've got a new p a customer or a contact in here and uh, they're in the partner program and we just go into we, we would have come in through our settings area or our admin area looking at the menu items and then we went about creating a new menu now I've tried to fast track forward here a little bit and start to do a little bit of configuration in beforehand now I'm going to put this under our contacts and sales as you can see up the top here I've got this menu and I've got my sub menus and I'm just looking for that uh, where am I I'm just looking for that now so it's a little bit let me just go back here sorry so we've got our contacts and contacts and sales now over here we've got to have a look at opening what we'll call a new window so we're going to select that actions window and because we have a, haven't actually got this at the moment we're going to go about creating a new a new form or a new window now without going into too much depth here we're going to create this and what do we actually want to call them we're going to call this a partner program in fact I'm just going to put this slightly here for my team to be more aware as well and we've got to have a relationship here of what information we're looking through and for so we're creating the filter and this might be a little bit techy for some of you but we've just pasted in and I'll paste this into the post as well now this is a very very case sensitive area okay and as much painstaking as it might be any full stop comma or uppercase lowercase could in effect cause um, that filter not to actually work and over here we just want to write in the word Kanban and put a comma in there as well okay so we'll save that now now it's created what I'll call a custom um, search slash form Okay, we're going to save that. Now, if we ref if we refresh, so long as I've done everything correctly during this video, we should start to see that populate up into here because it was only partner program was straight underneath our primary um, field of just waiting a little bit more refreshing going on. Okay, so in here we've got our partner program. Now I'll just go back because what I probably should have done is actually sorted that in an up and down type of order. So let's just do that quickly while we're here. Now I've, and many of you all have the favourites menu and parent menu. That filters up. We, I know that we're in here. Now I can quite simply go into my edit area and simply drag it into the specific order that I want so I'm going to have a look at this one I'm just dragging that up and where do I want it to be so it's 
because it's in my primary focus area I'm just going to bring that into here okay now again I might just refresh that okay well we refresh that up again now I've reordered it you can see in here that we've got our partner program and in here now based on what I'll call our uh, original filter of the tag we can actually we can see that we've filtered up and created that menu starting with our partner program now there is a um, a custom module which I might just stop and actually find um, there is a custom module that needs to be installed and again we'll link you through to that as part of the, the um, this post or this video tutorial alrighty well as always here's to your success and uh, take care for now bye speak to you on the next one